Hi everybody, my top tip today is how you can get rid of finger marks off your high gloss covers. Yeah, okay, they're really annoying when you see all these little finger marks and high gloss covers look lovely, but there is a trick of how to keep them shiny and to get rid of those finger marks. Okay, so I'm gonna crack on, I'm gonna show you what to do. So, get a damp cloth and pop on just a little bit washing up liquid, okay? Squeeze it out so your cloth is just moist, okay? And give the cupboards a really good look. Now, especially focus around the handle areas because that is where the finger marks tend to gather, okay? There we go. Give those handles a quick clean. There we go. Whoops, so there's it. I've got my cloth. Wipe, wipe, wipe. As you can see up there, that's my nan. She's not with us any longer, but I've often referenced her in my videos because she's given me a lot of cleaning tips over the years as well as a lot of other good advice. So, yeah, there she is. God bless her. So, once you've given them a scrub, a good scrub with your cloth, then just go over them again, okay? Always work from the top down like that, okay? Especially on your last um, go over them. Okay, so then all the bits will fall off. And don't forget your little pins below and down to the sides, okay? Whoops, now I've got some old tea towels here for a reason, okay? Now I'm going to rub over just to rub off the remainder of the washing up liquid, like so. And then comes the important bit, a tip for my good old nan. White vinegar and water. It's great for cleaning glass. So, we didn't have high gloss covers back then when she was with us, but we do now. And the same concept works. We give it a shake, squirt, especially on the handles, especially now we're in um, the pandemic, it's good to keep your handles nice and clean. White vinegar has antibacterial properties, so it's really good. It's environmentally friendly, and it's as cheap as chips, and it helps leave high gloss covers smoothly. Okay, so get your old tea towel, and just rub over your covers, okay? Go down all the sides again on the top from the top of the cupboard down okay and don't forget your plinths because you get quite a bit of dust gather on those plinths okay turn it back round and just repeat the process until your cupboards are looking pretty much dry okay and when they dry, I promise you, you will not smell any of the white vinegar. You will not smell it. It's really clever how it works. As it dries, the vinegar smell goes. As you can see, it leaves your cupboards looking very shiny, removes all of the fingerprints, and yeah, it's so quick and easy. So, what I want you to do, guys, is give it a go. See how you get on with it. Tell me what you think. Leave some comments in the comments box below. If you like this video and these tips, please give me a thumbs up. Press the like button and subscribe if you'd like to. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody for all of your support so far. I am just overwhelmed with it. So thank you so, so much. And yeah, give it a go. White vinegar all the way. Take care. Bye.